I know we're messed up. I know I messed up. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, my, 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 my second my second line there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. Yeah. This, this we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Was my second line there? Oh, here we go. <laughs> you better donate on Giving Tuesday. You're asking me why? Well, here's what I'll say. Patrick Clyde is coming to town. He's picking some shows you'll never forget. He's gonna make 90 our best season yet. Patrick Clyde is coming to town. The artistic director, he's a jolly fellow too. We want to do great shows next year, but it all depends on you. So, you better donate, you better give now. If you want to know, then I'll tell you how. That's called 6500. I said a 3290891 on Giving Tuesday. Patrick Klein, here he is right here. <laughs> hi, uh, I'm Patrick Klein. I'm the artistic director. Is that what you That's said? Right. Yes. Hi. Uh, thank you for joining us at the uh, three o'clock hour here. Uh, say, let's go for a little jaunt into our costume shop. Oh, right. We're gonna first. First. <laughs> you didn't tell me what to say. <laughs> tell us, Elizabeth. Help me out. Why don't you come over and take over the camera here? Oh, yes. We're falling apart here at three o'clock hour. We need some coffee. Okay. We got a little loopy. Come back. Yeah. We're also excited about that song. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to our three o'clock segment and happy Giving Tuesday. We are, let's see, three o'clock and we have raised just over $3,000. We're about $2,000 away from our $5,000 gift match. So all new gifts to Palta players made by midnight tonight will be matched dollar for dollar up to $5,000. Yeah, so donate now, paplayers.org backslash donate. As Johnny said, I can't sing it like him, but 650-329-0891. Stephanie's here to take your calls. And yeah, there's multiple ways for you to give as well. We also gratefully accept gifts of stock, company matching gifts, distribution from Ira, so many ways to give and show your support or give us a shout out on Facebook. Tell us what you love about Palo Alto Players. And speaking of telling us what, telling us what you love about Palo Alto Players, I am joined here by a very special guest, Annette Glankoff. Hi, Annette. Well, Happy hi. Giving Tuesday. It's good yeah. to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and then hold it up somewhere yeah. and make you see it. Great. So, hi, everyone. I'm Annette Glankoff, as Elizabeth said, and I cannot beat that wonderful singing with Johnny. Yay! But hey. I'm on the board of directors, and I'm here today to support Palo Alto Players, this wonderful organization for community theater. And in this time of Thanksgiving and thinking of all our blessings, it's also time to think about giving back. So if you enjoy community theater with community volunteers and community actors, please join me and support Palo Alto Players in this giving season. As Elizabeth said, we're trying to raise $5,000. We're almost there, but with your support, we can go all the way. So I would appreciate your support today. And I'd like to close with a quote from Anne Frank. No one ever gets poor from giving. So here's all the information you need. And back to Elizabeth. All right, well, thank you for joining us, Annette. We're so happy to have you on our board and supporting. And um, Annette is also very um, in involved in our community here in Palo Alto. We're so grateful to have um, generous supporters like you and um, and who also are very happy to wear all hats too and yet in the spirit of giving with all of us. So, so thank thanks you. for your support. Yes, after. all right. Okay. Okay, thanks Annette. Well, well, thanks for stopping by. We there appreciate we you being here. Oh okay. my God. <laughs> what do we have next? Johnny, what's going well. on? Okay. We're going to be uh, actually taking, uh, we've, we've been here for the whole day so far, yeah. but we're going to be taking a little stroll over okay. to our costume shop. Right. If you'll uh, just follow us here, we're going to be meeting with uh, Pat okay. Tyler and oh, Sharon we're for, Okay, we're going for a tour. Yes, sure. Okay, okay. First, let's look at behind the scenes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, all right, yeah. We're, uh, we're, uh, we're taking off. There's a right there. Location. Here. Location. Here. 
Inside their costume shop here at Palo Flares. Okay, who do we have? Okay, I'm gonna stay with my good side here. Okay. All right, well. Oh my gosh! Oh, hi. Sheriff! Sheriff Tyler, what are you doing here? We didn't even see you there. Hanging out in the costume shop. We are, we love it. We live here. We do live here. Some days it feels like that. Does Patrick let us take our handcuffs off? But usually he's got There's tunnels between every theater, and that's where all That's where we all go. No one knows this. See, yeah. we were we were saying today that there would be some secrets revealed. That's so, it. you know, the more you know. So we are joined. This is Pat <laughs> Tyler, um, costume designer, and Sharon Ping, also one of our costume designers. Um, Pat has designed a few shows for a us. Few. Yeah. <laughs> no, not everything. You design the rest. Just <laughs> recently, Bright Star. Bright Star. And Sharon, Flower Drum Song. And why not? And Chinglish. Oh my gosh, Chinglish too. What a great, what a great show. So let's see. How can we tell us what you um, tell us what you're working on right now? I mean, you do you just design here at Palo Alto Players, or do you have other projects that you work on? Am I first? That looks like I'm Why first. Not? Um, um, you want to know? Yeah. 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 The next project I have coming up is um, Sunday in the Park with George at Los Altos. That's oh, so exciting. So, yeah. yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. Wow. It's going to be quite. Quite fun to, to recreate that painting. So, okay. so that's not that's not someone else. Okay, that's all right. We like to share. We like to share. How about you, Sharon? Um, I'm working on Newsies over at Hillbrown Theater. We opened this weekend. We have so worked a lot with the ballet and uh, the opera. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. So, so the opera, like opera, San Francisco Opera, Opera San Jose. Both. Both. Great. Super. So um, cool. so tell me, what attracts you to um to a certain show or, or project? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, mostly it's person. the company. I yeah. mostly like who's contacted me, who who do I like working with because that's really what makes a show awesome is the team. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I will totally second that. Yeah. And that's why I know I'm not, you know, trying to praise, but seriously that's why Palo Alto players are so great. Because you guys are also great and so Aww. generous. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Love the love. Here is, here is, here is, is a lot, is more, yeah. lot more fun. Yeah, a lot more fun. I mean, contemporary is also fun. But it's fun, but it's more like shopping. It's the it's the, the research that's so much yes, fun. Yes, exactly. Tell, yeah, exactly. Tell us a little about the, like, how do you, like, how do you approach your design, your design project? What's, you know, what, tell us a little bit about your process. Well, the first thing is the script. You have to read the script and talk to the other designers and see what they have in mind. So make sure, and the director, mm -hmm. and make sure everybody's on the same page for the look of it. Um, and then you just research the time period if it's going to be very strictly um, in the time period but sometimes it's not without any little twists or you know turns of, of visual turns and then you just start doing research on what it looked like in the time and then of course you have to serve the story and you have to serve the characters mm -hmm. so that's when you start digging deeper into colors and style and status you know whether high status mid or oh. low and Things oh, like oh. Hey, <laughs> like that. yeah. How about for you? Yeah, same, yeah. same idea. I usually read a script um, at least three times. Wow. Uh, first time is just for the story. Second time is for details, and I like pl start plowing things out. And third time is for anything I might have missed. Because and there's also there's a lot of very important words to look out for when you're reading a script. Like sometimes I mention colors, or there's an action like mm -hmm. she. Yeah, turns around quickly, or she reaches for something in her pocket. She and takes are, off her coat. Right. Wait, I didn't have a coat. Okay, we gotta get a coat. Get a coat. <laughs> um, and those are all things that you also ask the director. Like, do you actually want to do exactly what the script tells you, or did you want to tweak it a little bit? Um, and then, yeah, to your point, like director, talking director is like the most important thing yeah. because sometimes you'll go into it and you'll read the script and you have an idea, and then they're like, "But let's set it in space." Yeah. And then oh. you just, you know, waste all the time <laughs> thinking about a different idea. Uh, That's the first thing I always ask is what year is it? Especially yeah. on shows that are kind mm -hmm. of fudgeable, like uh, Shakespeare or Gilbert mm -hmm. Sullivan or something where you don't necessarily have to have it right in the time period that it's set. First thing is what year is it? Right. And, that and, and even on other, other shows too, because sometimes within a 10 year span, it can be even like in the 20s. Yeah. If you put it in 1921, it's much different than in 1929. So you got to get the year done. Correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. Totally. 
um, also with Sound of Music because like that show. It's recording, it's recording still, but we should probably move into the other room. Okay. Everybody so we're going to take a little so rehearsal. Let's, let's walk and talk, and we'll be joined by another... Hi, Gloria! We have another <laughs> friend joining us, so let's okay. move into the... Back into the rehearsal back room. Back into the rehearsal hall. <laughs> we're going to walk and talk. All right. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's all recording. It's still oh, recording. It's still recording. Still sorry. recording. Sorry. Tell us sorry. a secret story sorry. while we're walking. Secret story. Secret story. Okay, so this is our little welcome. Come join us on our in our stage. Hi, Chu. Um, we're interested in how people, you know, find their way to a career in in the theater. Um, I actually mostly grew up in the theater. Um, I. Well, I was born in Taiwan, and then we moved to Washington State when I was four and a half. And then, like growing up, I always wanted to, like to be part of theater, sort of, because um, everyone on my father's side are professional musicians or conductors or singers. Um, so I kind of was grown up in that kind of environment. Um, but the I lived in this little country town where we didn't have a lot of other kids who were interested in theater, and so there was never enough people who signed up for the drama class at the recreation center. So when we moved to California, when I was in fourth grade, I was really excited to find, find a PYT. Oh yeah, uh, that's great. And right. I joined that and like did that forever. <laughs> um, but started hanging out with the backstage people more and I was like, oh my god, I really love makeup and the effects makeup and because that's just like another layer of character. Um, and then that, that department was always next to the costume department, so we kind of all like intermixed. Um, and then I also grew up watching my mom sew. So, so after um, high school, I was like, what am I going to do? I was thinking of going into like biology, and then I was like, I'm going to do that kind of degree. <laughs> so on a I mean, I was like, I didn't want to do research work. I didn't want to teach. I don't know. But I knew I was always going to be, always going to be creating and doing. So I was like, on a whim, I got in, and then um, because I had been doing theater all beforehand after I graduated, people remember me and just started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah. So but, <laughs> but I kind of fell into it because I, I really enjoyed it, and a um, bunch of years ago now, 10, 12, well, I don't know, like 15 years ago, I started costuming, actually when my kids were and then, yeah, and then went on to do Gilbert, a lot of Gilbert and Sullivan, a lot of um, at uh, Lyric Theater in San Jose, and did a lot of Victorian stuff. And just really loved it, really, really loved it. I think, and I just wanted to say, I think the hardest part about where we're at sometimes is something. I mean, here at Lucy Stern, we get this great costume shop with great tables, and you know, it's it's not like fully stuff, but everything is. You can come in here and you can just make it your work space. A lot of theaters, small theaters, don't have that. And we do what's called dining room table. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you got sewed on your dining room table. 90% of my apartment yeah, is definitely yeah. just for work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you live with someone, they have to be yeah. very understanding. My husband picks threads off his clothes right now. But I think that both of us having been on the stage and you still being on stage gives us a really interesting Yes, I do too. I agree with that. I think it's you make a, you're, you're a much more hmm, aware costume. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I also get invited to the actors room because they're like, I can't wear these shoes. And I'm like, you know what? I have worn those shoes. Very yeah. Dance that dance. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. possible. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I did have yeah. a gym. I was a theater. I was an art major and a theater yeah. minor. So I did. I did go the, you know, did all the BA route. Whoa. At the time, I wasn't actually focusing on costume design. More on theater. More on. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite um, show that you designed for? Oh God! Oh, like, that's always over. Everyone always asks this question. It's yeah. always so hard. <coughs> Tarzan, <coughs> bright star. Tarzan, the bright star. All of them here have been wonderful. Um, I love working on Tarzan, except making 400 yards oh, of four-way yeah. stretch yeah. fringe. 
Um, I yeah. loved uh, Shakespeare in Love because that was such a great period to costume for. So yeah, I just you know all kinds of fun things. Uh, sounds like the ones that are the most fun are probably the ones that are the most challenging, right? I mean, that they when well, you're talking yeah. about period and it's, I guess you know what I think it is because it's like it kind of works your brain. Yeah, <laughs> and like part of like the cool thing is like having something in your imagination and then making that real. real. Like yeah. that, that, like the, the fortune cookie boxes from, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> drove us all crazy. I'm sure you all remember that, but I do. They were so cool. They were so fun. They were fun. That's great. And available. No. Yeah. And available. Yeah. Yeah. They're in the store. Yeah. We've already given the away lead lamps this morning. I guess we wanted a, uh, um, a fortune cookie box. Well, box. I, I, I actually have to into the Woods was fun because Into the Woods approach on um, the costuming was I started it by going, trying to go back to the original fairy tale mm -hmm. as a source mm -hmm. for the costumes because we were doing it as all different, mm -hmm. it wasn't in one particular era. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. That's, that's always a really fun show because when I did it, I yeah, you could do it all there. Yeah, yeah, we kind of like pull patterns from all across cultures. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Together. yeah. Like, I, the research is always a little bit harder. Yeah. Um, like, I think there's this. Part of a uh, theater is all about like um, I think making connections, mm, um, and then I think for us it's finding the connection in history and then bringing it. Well, we are so very grateful to have such wonderfully talented costume designers um, right here in our community, and today is really about supporting you, our our local artist. I mean, when well, you give to Palo Players, you are supporting, you supporting our local talent. So um, <laughs> we hope that you will be inspired to, to give a gift today, and um, yeah, and then we'll look forward to seeing your next on stage yeah so Newsies opens this weekend yep. at Hill Barn and you've got uh, um, yeah, yeah sunny in the park but that's yeah, we'll not be in, the spring. In, in the spring okay and, and then we'll still make noises in June July. okay yeah we're all about supporting our neighboring theater company so feel free to that's so plug great away <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but we are we're gonna be okay. with, yeah we've got well, have one more to send us out oh, too right. so well thank you both so much for sure. being here that's and um nice. I think we have another guest that's come by. Let's welcome. Um, we could. Yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> we're yeah, all right. I know we're all just having so great. We're looking so festive today. Hey, Gloria. Hi. How are you? Hi. Look, we're all wearing. We are all wearing the Palette of Flares <laughs> colors today, and we didn't even, you know, we didn't even talk about it. This is my good friend Gloria Hom, and um, Gloria, you and I met. Um, did we meet at Rotary? I think we met at Rotary. Right. Um, yeah. But how long have you you've been coming to Palo Players for a few years? years? Since uh, I think 1963. 19 and Palo Alto Players at that time was actually cheaper than the movies. Oh, the <laughs> tickets were just really, really reasonable. But it was wonderful, and I kept going. I kept. Uh, a subscription going till now. Wow. It's a best. It, it 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 it's the best value for the money. There's there's nothing to compare. You know, local theater is just wonderful. It does so much for our community and it it enriches our lives and it's just great. Yeah. Well, we are grateful to have supporters like you to make the work that we that we do possible and do you have a um do you have a memorable show i mean that's what 40 years of players and it might be hard just to pick one do you have a few shows that kind of stand out to you that you've enjoyed i think you we should have rehearsed this before <laughs> You know, you'd be in really good company if you picked one of Patrick Klein's shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell you, I love Flower Drum Song. Yeah. You did a great job oh, with Flower Drum you. Song. That thank was you. really well done. Thank the voices you. were exceptional, and the acting was fantastic. The costumes were great <laughs> also. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Just a great show. Yeah. And um, why, you know, 
why do you think it's important to have a place like Palo Alto Players here and our, as someone who's been, you know, part of this community for many years and why is it important to have, you know, a place like Palo Alto Players? Oh, I think it, it, it's, it, it, it unites us mm -hmm. as a community. Yeah. It brings us to be together. It's non, um, non-controversial, which is wonderful <laughs> in today's world. I agree. And yeah. it's something we can share. It's part, part of our mass culture. Yeah. And it's it's great. It's it's great to bring the kids up this way to really enjoy theater, to enjoy live theater. It's it's really wonderful and to have it, you know, so close to home is terrific. Can't beat it. I no, know. No. And I know you've brought, you know, family, you've brought friends. Um, every time I see the theater, you have someone new that you're introducing oh, players to. Absolutely. So, um, and today is all about, you know, welcoming new people to our donor family. So, um, I hope that you will um, be inspired to give. We are getting closer to our $5,000 gift match. That's what today is about. So, um, we hope that you will join in. Thank you, Gloria, for being oh, here. Thank yeah, you. I'm so glad you could stop by and, and join I, us on this festive day. Absolutely, <laughs> and I hope people give, give, give because it is value for your dollar. This goes right back into the community. That's right. right. Absolutely. That's right. And you know, um, your ticket sales only cover about sixty percent of our costs. So um, the more that you can give um, in contributions, we can continue to keep those ticket prices affordable and accessible for so many of our community partners. Absolutely. Yeah. You did such a great job. Thank, thank you, thank Gloria, you. for thank being you. here. All right, thank we've got, you. oh, it looks like we have, oh, Johnny, what do we, what do we got yeah, there? Well, you got some share? Had, okay, uh, right okay now, we got another we donation go. from Beth. Thank That's you right. so much, Beth, for your donation. Thank and, you. And, Thanks um, to everyone who's given so far. Yeah. Of course, we appreciate it. And, you know, Johnny, we really love your jingles today. They've been so much fun, but you're actually going to be leaving us. This yes. is your last segment with That's us. That's right. It's going to be my last segment for the day. Um, Why yeah. are you leaving us? Well, that's because I'm, in, <laughs> I'm actually in Tech Week right now for a production of A Christmas Carol at Coastal Repertory Theater in Half Moon Bay, in which I'm playing uh, Jacob Marley, and uh, that's going to be opening this Friday. And, uh, playing for three weekends up there, so come check it out, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, we hope you'll tune in next at uh, six, six, right? Okay, We're going to be here with uh, Jeff Lowe from Doll's House, um, and he'll tell us a little bit about what's going on in, in right. rehearsal. So mm -hmm. thank you, Johnny. We appreciate thank you having you here today. Yep. Um, thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you back here at six o'clock.